What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the stream. And today, let's start Mass Effect 2. We will import Mass Effect 1 character. This looks fine. Commander Shepard followed the renegade path. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out!
man, this scene is so good. So good. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eaton Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. 
but even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Ash I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novarian, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't take the chance. I had a mission to do, and an army of angry Rachni would be one more problem I didn't have time to deal with. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. 
a sovereign. Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Ash saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. 
ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Hey Kumo, hey Rich, how you guys doing? Except imported. Wait, what? Sergi with a membership. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Welcome. Wow, that's so awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, infiltrator. That should be fine. Yep. It's reacting to outside stimuli. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Did anything change for weapon classes? Hmm... I believe they give you more ammo now you compared to original. Uh, let me see actually, I, I wanna see. Uh... 
Okay, so loading times have been... Okay, Miranda. Wow, I'm rich, chat. What the hell? Uh, okay, so photo mode, UI has been enhanced, all DLCs are included. DLC weapons and armor have been integrated naturally. You can research them or buy them from merchants. The exception is the Arc Projector Heavy Weapon, which is available from the start. UI navigation experience has been improved. Improvements and bug fixes have been made to the morality system, including accurate representation of your Paragon and Renegade point amounts. This means that key moments that were notoriously difficult to achieve can now be pulled off more reliably. Yeah, that's what we talked about, how they reduced the skill check, speech check. The pause menu options have been reshuffled so that their placement is consistent across all three games. So that's this. It's exactly like in ME1. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> the camera angles during the camera angles during cutscenes have been adjusted to not focus as much on chest and buttocks of female characters. The overall UI font size has been decreased to look better on 1080p and 4K displays. That's so cool. People can now play in widescreen, HDR. Increased textures. Um, better sounds for weapons. Particle effects have been added. The explosions and stuff. Mm, muzzle flashes now emit light. Better lighting overall. Better shadows. Combat changes, okay, this is the good stuff. Additional covers have been added in some combat encounters. Entering and exiting cover is now more reliable. The ammo drop rate has been increased, particularly when using sniper rifles. Hell yes, dude. <laughs> and... That's about it. Let's go. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Is this the first part? This is the beginning. Any class changes? I didn't see any class changes. Look out. Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Take cover. Initiated. 
Still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Okay, I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Oh, that's cool, Rich. That's cool. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. 
Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? N never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Yeah, Rich. I would love to check that out, man. Why not? Threat detected. Damn it, Wilson. The whole station is crawling with mix. I'm doing the best I can.
Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Should I recognize that name? Mm hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. But things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. been spotted. Gotta hurt! Requesting assistance.
can hack data pads and other stuff. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything hackable in the tutorial area. in some previous area never mind playing mass effect as well that's awesome man test subject has been recovered but the damage is far worse than we initially feared in addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures despite the extent of the physical trauma wilson assures me subject is salvageable the lazarus project will proceed as planned test subject has been recovered but the damage is far worse than we initially I thought you meant I missed some hackables in the previous areas. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on.
Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? No way was I gonna let those slaver bastards send me running. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. 
We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Hey, Mondi, what's up? If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. 
You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. 
We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. programmed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Elizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit! Why would your old commander work for Cerberus? I don't know. But if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tali, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus. 
I'm not trusting anyone, Praza. But we're going to need help searching the area. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. You expect us to do all the dirty work while you sneak in and grab Vitor? Not likely. We're better equipped for a frontal assault than they are, Commander. If we don't work together, we're not going to get past those mechs. We're moving out. If you want your answers, get to that warehouse. The Quarians are an unexpected variable. They could help us, but I'd hope to keep an eye on them. I bet they're saying the same thing about us. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. Use overload on him. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. You got it! On it! Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door.
That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overlord will take out that shield. This looks interesting. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide, have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming, storm coming. <laughs> Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. 
Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. 
The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collectors' paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. We'll have to give her a name. Another iconic scene? Yeah, man, it's so cool. Hey, Turbo. Favorite crew for Mass Effect 2? 
I don't remember, honestly. Did Miranda have like a good group buff for damage? I'm gonna have to read their skills again to decide. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Do I like overheating or reload aspect more? Hmm. I don't know, man. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? 
Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. They changed her face? Yeah, man. Like... I can see that it's different, but... Maybe I'm misremembering. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Wait. Did they... Maybe they imported the face from the third game into this one. Because I feel like Miranda's face in this game is exactly like in the third one now. While in the original it was different and they changed it a bit in the third game. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. But I don't know, maybe I'm just... Misremembering. But I feel like they imported the faces from the third game into this one. To make them look more consistent. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breed. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? Uh, leather? Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda. 
and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. Yes, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the Navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the Helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Um, Steve, I don't know if you know, but they also changed Tally's picture in Mass Effect 3. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Um, I don't know, that's subjective, but it's not that stock photo anymore that people were disappoint disappointed with. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory.
<laughs> cool. Remaining balance. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Privilege to serve on the Normandy Command. D you watch me, I'll watch you. What has Cerberus done to me? Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Hey, the spinning is back. Oh man, I missed this. 
scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Wow. Kelly, what a debate. restroom is on the port side of the ship. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me, yet. Here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Chat, does she also feel different? Or is it my imagination? I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. 
Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Hey, Ultra. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. 
We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high-gravity worlds. Like, for Mass Effect 3, there is a mod that allows you to bring all the Miranda's looks back, so I wouldn't be surprised if they add the same thing to this game. A mod that brings old faces back. The original faces. this area of the ship. This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core.
You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. <laughs> I mean, let me see, let me Google it. Man, it's like nobody wrote anything about the facial changes.
No, this is not DMCA. Oh man, Jack had a completely different face in Mass Effect 3. I wonder what they did to Jack. I can't find anything about the face changes. Let's continue. No, but here's the thing, like... Warner Brothers bought rights to make a Mass Effect movie and as soon as they bought the rights they started DMCAing many YouTubers who had Mass Effect gameplays on YouTube. Which was so bad man, so bad. But it looks like they fixed that now. part of the game. Let's go! Launching probe. Your research projects. Palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe launched. Probe away. Your research projects. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. How? I didn't... I didn't receive any DMCA so far. Launching probe. On Mass Effect. Sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. Probe away. Launching probe. Do it. Probe away. <laughs> Launched. 
probe away. Probe launched. Like, my biggest issue with DMCA is when some random people take the music from game Launching probe. they add some beat to it some lyrics and then they copyright it and then when you play the game probe away. those people who took the music from game who changed it they copyright you they copyright you for something that they don't own for for something that's Launched. For something that's original. Like last time when that happened to me, I was so pissed off, man. Probe away. I was playing a game, I had in-game music on the stream. When I finished the stream, I got copyright notice from some completely random guy who took the music, add some beats to it, add a couple of his lyri lyrics to it. And he was just, yoink, this is mine, I don't care. And I did write to him, like, I told him, hey man, listen, this is the original in-game music. Composed by this and that guy. Like, the original composers for that game. And you know what he did? He said, nope, this video is mine. Screw you, man. I'm like, wow. Like, so greedy, man. Next level greediness. What did I do? I deleted that, that live stream. Because after he denies you that claim, that dispute, you can't do anything about it anymore. Like, I have a... Like, listen, I have a second chance to ask him. But if I do it the second time, then I give him an ability to strike my channel down. Probe away. And I believe if I get, like, one strike, I can't stream anymore for some time. And I was like, screw it, this is not worth it, man. If he was so greedy to decline me the first time, he's gonna be greedy the next time as well. So I just took the video down. Probe away. Probe away. Away. And that very same thing happened when w w Warner Brothers got rights for Mass Effect. Like, they did strike plenty of my old Mass Effect videos. And even if I disputed, they were like, nope, this is ours. But luckily, that's not happening anymore. Oh, 
launching probe. Hey, bucket. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. My probes!
spamming by probes doesn't work, man. You have to click and wait. Click and wait. Click and wait. Cynical. I didn't do that yet. Hopefully soon. Is it worth buying if you already played the game? Um, I don't know. Like, if you really like Mass Effect, then it's definitely worth buying. If you don't plan to play the game ever again because you already finished it, then I don't know. The biggest changes that you can notice Like the biggest changes that you can notice are in Mass Effect 1. In this one, the biggest changes that we saw so far is that they're using Mass Effect 3 characters in Mass Effect 2. Or at least Mass Effect 3 faces.
And if you don't like Mass Effect 3 faces, then they will probably... The mothers will probably figure it out to bring old faces back. RTX 3090 on your back. Because RTX, man. Sp space RTX. Like, you need really good RTX card for Mass Effect, because, you know, you are exploring the galaxy, there are many suns, many light sources, and you need to process those rays, man, sun rays and all of that. If you inject RTX in your arm, do you need to see the doctor? Yeah, because you have to inject it in your eyes, man, not in the arm. So go to the doctor, tell him to take it out from the arm and to inject it right in the eyes. Have you guys played Dead Space? There was that one scene where you had to stab yourself in the eye. Man, that scene was... It was something. <laughs> Just go for the brain.
And there was also one similar scene, I believe it was in Quake 4, where you lie down all tied up and then you, you can look down and see how machines are cutting you up, cutting your legs, stabbing your eyes and all of that. I gotta keep your eye on it. Is there anything else to collect? Or place another monument? I did get the dog tags, the helmet. Ezio, right. I'm not sure if there is any other Ezio left. Yeah, crash site of the Normandy, yep. Yep, yep. Was this a DLC? I vaguely remember that this was DLC. Yeah, I think I smashed all crates. I'm just gonna double check quickly. Like, why would you... This is an important thing for Shepard. Why would you cut this out and make it a DLC? 
I mean, I get it. It's money, but... What about integrity, man? Integrity, you know? I'm here for money. <laughs> money. <laughs> but integrity, man. Integrity farms. Hell yeah, Steve. You fucking what? Basically, you just say EA Games and you type this. I'm here for money. No, wait. Money. No, no, not that. EA Games and this. We've got to have money. <laughs> money. Steve, that's a cool idea to add. Yep. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Man, why didn't they keep this in all Mass Effect games? Probe launched. Probe 
launched. I mean, it kind of didn't have any sense to keep it in Mass Effect 3 because you already de depleted all planets. Why would you do it again? Probe launched. Launching probe. Wait. Oh yeah, totally. Different dresses? What do you mean? Yeah, you still do. I could change for Miranda. Watch out! Mm. Here we go. Good shot. Friendly down. Mm. Watch it. Okay, I wanted to see if they can turn on these abilities automatically, and they are, which is fantastic. You didn't? I will turn it on later.
My go-to sniper. I don't know. I will know that once I found it. My go-to shotgun, the big one. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Hold on a minute. Launched. 
probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Did I use full auto in the last playthrough? Up 
away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Thanks for subbing, man. I know what you mean, but I don't know how to explain it honestly. Probe away. Probe away. We will see it again once I find it. Launching probe. Did my bot quit again? Let me see. Uh, probably the... Restream servers died again. Okay, there you go. You can see it again. Probe away. I don't know, the bot locked me out. I don't know why. And I had to do the capture thing. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Away. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Thank you. 
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. Oh. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive raids even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Man, this place, this is... I don't know why, but it always, it always feels so good to be here. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me?
That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Hey, Nork. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after our danger? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. 
but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Chat. Did he have a cigar in the original? Something here for humans. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discounts. And that's all you're getting. You're back. You must have seen something you like.
research the launcher early. Can I do that? this door VIP section of the club for those with the right name do you want something I'd like to join the party this really isn't your kind of place afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music Sure, I will try to do that. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand or you don't want to? Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borja on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gabon. Why would I tell him anything? Go away. Talk too much. Gabon's thugs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave! Staffing services. We employ a large force of driven, dedicated fortune workers ready to address your security needs. We have the largest. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvaged parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Hera, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. Well, no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the... I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off his station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Um, where can I check... Which magazines have I bought? my ship
Yeah, I believe I bought it. Every credit goes toward a ticket to get... And if this gets back to... You can see how that turned out. Well, no one will buy from me when... This is my mistake. This shop's up the ramp near where Mar... I have to go. Please check with my key. This might be useful. We can use this. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I understand you have an arrangement with the Quarian over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in order to stay in business. Accusatory? I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. <laughs> I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. Where did you get that fantastic new visor? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Herod. Oh, I love that place. But I always thought Herod only sold stuff for men. Oh, no. What if? Wait. Can I? Wait, this is the auto save. Can I do this now? Tentatively excited. No. Nope. Well, with pride, I have courteously. Okay. Tentatively excited. What kinds of things do you With pride, my price is accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern. A weak, homesick. Grateful to thank. With pride, I have courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything.
<laughs> no, but I've always wanted to. Of course not. I like you both. Yeah, another round of whatever she's having. Shepard? I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. <laughs> No hard feelings, though, huh? No, really, thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. Whoever you are, you stopped being relevant about five minutes after I apparently told you to run. Hey, yeah, that's great. Fuck you, too. Ruin a guy's life. The least you could do is remember. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. I got the message last time. I work at a shipping dock, all right? Leave me alone. So I get friendly with the whores in my off hours. So much. That's all I got left of the old thing. Thanks. Did I kill the drug boss? No, I didn't. There she is. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility i suppose and now you're on omega you convinced me to turn my life around i'm a social worker now believe it or not is that what you're calling it these days that's what it's called when a person works for the betterment of the people around her doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work which makes me uniquely qualified and if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. 
It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Be right back, chat. I need some water. Say something, Commander. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was peaking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves.
I know you? No, no, humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. You shouldn't be dead! Wait, you don't want me to. Now, drink it. I... no, you can't. I... Drink it, or I'll blind you one eye at a time. Uh, yeah, Rex is alive. Only four months left until the entertainment event of the century. Becky Burlesque joined the Kanjatash and his sexy sextet as they light up the afterlife and soothe the savage beasts of Omega. You won't believe what these girls get up to and how low they'll go. For tickets, contact Kellyanne box offices or buy direct from the afterlife ticket office. You Friend. won't believe your eyes. End is not. Okay, let's check that. Wait, I can't upgrade without Morden, right? I need to get Morden first. Kent. Kent is not. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Honestly, Renegade playthrough feels really good, man. <laughs> I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I am not a big fan of being renegade towards crewmates, but everything else, it's so cool. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. I didn't think diseases would cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. 
An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. They both get sick? Aw, oh, that's so cool, man. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. <laughs> okay, I'll take that on the next mission. Good luck in that. Blue suns and vultures shooting anything that moves. They've seen us. Corpses must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth, like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Mind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. <laughs> I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. You 
bad enough you infect us with this. Your, your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. We're here to find more, not help some whiny Vitarian. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Today they are on sale. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin then gun them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> you were talking about Vorcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. I need to find Morton Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I should go. Goodbye, human. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal.
story infects me too. Coming! You're human. What are we 
we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Sun's territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually it takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorta. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're gonna have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorcha and Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah, okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. This is valuable.
she will go sleep. Oh man. As always, man, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Yeah, man, like, there's definitely much more ammo now in this version. This is gonna be fun. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little... entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think he's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voice. The 
The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to. Before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vulture finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. Kept the district in line for the most part. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kinda had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep him down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just wanna stay the hell out of the way. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Uh, I wanna try... Wait. Hey, what did I say? Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. We're just here to take... We're just showing... Besides, if we don't take this No stuff, more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? If I have to. Do I have to? You think we can't take care of ourselves? Come on. Hostile! Gun gun! Okay, exactly what I expected. Something you need? I'll be going. Later. Zero contacts! Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, what can you tell me about Morden? Uh, he has a clinic over there. <laughs> Something you need. I'll be going later. Speech 100, man. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. The Blue Suns knew better than to mess with Professor Solus, but the Vorcha? I'm not so sure about them. Good call. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything.
way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Professor, we're running low on some toxic. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in materials. Supplement with butemerol. Melanarin and butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Haplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine better option. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. This is valuable. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. For the love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But, must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go. Right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give. To get what we want. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. A doctor doesn't have much chance against a Vorcha horde. You shouldn't have sent him. Hmm. Stubborn. Told him not to go. Odds of survival low. He's smart, careful, bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Sun's came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific. 
but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races, makes sense as control group. Let's head for the environmental plant. safest place in the district right now. We intend to keep it that way. Hey man, what's up?
telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, Hilda. Are we free to go? How do I know you won't shoot me in the back as soon as I turn around? Like I thought. Kill them all. God, you murdered them in cold blood. You want to end up like those Batarians, just keep on talking. Or be smart, turn around, and get back to Morden's clinic. This... this is wrong. Wait until Morden hears about this. Hey, Nam. Going to ground. Sure thing. You bet. Money.
with you. Right. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fangs. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! One left. system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. What's up? Quit hiding. Time to die.
I'm here. You coward. Broken income. Uh. Got it. Yeah, man, finally doing the renegade stuff. I've got him. Staying close. Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. Professor, how can you thank these monsters? They butchered those Batarians in cold blood. I risked my life to save you. Hell, I saved this whole damn district. Now you're judging me? Shepard's right. Batarians tortured you, would have killed you. Right to kill them. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. He's not wrong. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans. They risked their lives to find me, and bring me to safety. I'm glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. Played Renegade in Fallout, it was so funny. Just need to finish up here at clinic. Won't take long. Beach with your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. Oh, poor you, man. Thanks for bringing us here. We probably saved our lives. Thanks for bringing us here. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. I'll see if they need my help. It's going to be strange running the clinic without the professor. But we'll get by. Things are going to be tough when Morden goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did for them. With the Vorcha gone, the Blue Sun should be able to regain control of the district. Things can get back to normal. Vorcha may be gone, but I still don't trust the Blue Suns. Not after what they did.
Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Solarians specialize in secret agendas. I'd expect you to understand Cerberus looking out for human interests. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus, no. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Uh, see ya, Bucket. Thanks for coming out, man. I removed one upload. Yeah, so I started this game yesterday. And like 20 minutes later, I lost my internet connection and... That was about it. I didn't have internet for like one hour. So there was no point to come back to return to continue streaming. So I decided to start the game today once again. I mean, I only lost like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So it, it was fine. And I don't want like my first video to be like 20 minutes only. So... I would like never quit the stream without saying goodbye or anything. I, like, I know that many people want shorter videos. But 20 minutes is too short, man. Like, 20 minutes in this game doesn't even start any gameplay. It's like that comic, the Genesis DLC. That explains you what happened in the previous game. Like, only that takes more than 20 minutes. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. 
plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Next, next companion. I'm gonna decide soon who am I gonna go for next. Yeah, like... There are many ways... Like, if you don't, if you don't like longer videos, but you still want to watch them... Many times YouTube remembers where have you stopped watching a video. And another thing, like, you can always leave a comment down below in the comments with the timestamp where you left off, so that when you come back next time, you can just click on that timestamp and continue. I've been asked to to record my live streams and to upload them as separate videos, smaller videos, but at the moment I don't have enough hard drives to record 12 hours every day in good quality, by the way. Maybe in the future, but at the moment I don't have... My technology is not there yet. Because <laughs> I need money for that technology. I need this. I'm here for money. Money. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Anything else? 
Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Rich, is this the thing I need to bring down the chopper? Requires one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade to unlock. Called Kane. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> good one, good one. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Are you trolling again? No, you're not. This is cool. This explains how... Your Paragon or Renegade choices affect your face. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. 
Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Yeah, man. Speech 100. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the Normandy's technical lab, where you can investigate new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab, provided you have acquired the necessary resources. You can find these resources by scanning planets or searching while on missions. There it is. I need one more heavy weapon ammo. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery. Hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! 
We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Plane, Commander. Shepard's teasing really threw you off. You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> oh yeah, man, it's gonna be really blooming. What can we do for you, Commander? Hmm. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Daddy bags. I like it. Carry on. Will do, Commander. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Bloom stream was literally the highlight of any stream I ever watched. I know, that was quite the experience. Maybe I should repeat that one day. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Still seeing stars and flashes. <laughs> Jesse, that's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. I was down and out when I found that gun. Jesse was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. Damn good rifle. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. But Jesse wanted that Torian dead, so two shots. And he died right there. I killed my way across the Terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. 
I don't take Jessie into battle anymore. Had to retire her about five years ago. I was hunting down this Batarian slaver. Forgot his name. Not important. Carved my way through a hundred Batarian mooks. I don't remember ejecting a clip once. Jesse just kept firing. Reached the slaver and he got in my face. So I went to blow him away and... Nothing. The old bitch had finally jammed. So I smashed his face in with the butt of the gun and called in the job. After that, Jesse couldn't be fixed. Nothing anyone could do. Like she'd finally had enough blood and was ready to rest. Been resting. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Yeah, man. Wait, where where is it? This. Wait, is it's not that? What do you mean? Oh, wait, maybe it's this. You messed with my hamster, guys. Now it's personal. <laughs> so good. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? 
You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Man, she looks much younger in the remaster. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly it's true. Wait, let me see. Hmm. Maybe it's the drink. <laughs> Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. She lied down. Such a cool detail. <laughs> so cool. How can I help you, Commander? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. 
Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. See ya, Arith. Thanks for coming out, man. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By Maybe. Your I like you are who that you are. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like Maybe. you are who you That's are. Easy. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Be right back, chat. I need some water.
Okay, let's see. I need... If I'm gonna go make that chopper go boom... Then I'm gonna need... One more heavy ammo upgrade. Got one on Omega. Okay, let's see. Can I bring that chopper down with something else? So cool. Launching pro. Oh, 
launched. Thank you. 
launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. How do you get more probes? I'll show you in a moment. Just give me a second. Probe launched. You can buy them here at Fuel Depot. At the same place where you buy fuel. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. What happens if you lose all fuel? I believe you lose either some money or some resources. And you get... And the ship automatically drives you to some location where you can buy fuel, I think. If I remember correctly. Thanks for coming out. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. 
probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Rich, can I take that chopper down with some other weapon? Or do I have to use cane?
Okay, I see, I see. Right behind you. Sure thing. Styles are clear.
launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. It's an achievement if you use any, every heavy weapon. I usually don't care about achievements. Especially if those achievements don't give you anything, any reward. I wonder if that achievement is still in in this game, in the remaster. Away. 
Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Be right back, chat. I need some water.
Okay, I'm back. Now, to get... Can I go to Tuchanka right away? Hey, Nick. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Okay, how about Ilium? Can I go there right away? To a sorry home world? That's what I was afraid of. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. I wanted to go there as fast as possible to get ammo upgrade, to get the cane weapon and do the quest. The Archangel quest. Because... I need one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade to unlock the cane. So I can do that with Morden mission, Zaid's loyalty mission, but only as a paragon, which I will not do. I don't want to do paragon choice for that one, so that one is crossed off. I can do that, I can do one in N7 blood pack base, but I need to go to Ilium for that. I can do I can get one heavy weapon ammo in arrival but arrival I plan to do arrival when I finish the game cuz last time when I played Mass Effect I did arrival before I finished the game so I want to see what's different after finishing the game and to Chanka yeah
Um, chat, give me one second. Not saving the colonists for Zaid's mission is considered renegade. Mm, what do you mean? Like, I know that... You have to be renegade on Zaid's mission to earn his loyalty. Zaid is also renegade? Yeah, but I I don't wanna kill him. So my only choice to get the weapon before I get to do Archangel mission is either to Chanka or Ilum Ilium or Morden's loyalty mission. Okay.
probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. You think I can find it on Citadel? Probe launched. In stores? Probe launched. Launching probe. Sure, I will go to Citadel Probe away. and check it out. Launching probe. And get a drunk. Get wasted.
but I already got one from Omega. Receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Shep, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto, at your service. But you apparently already knew that. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. Unless you're stealing something from the Collectors, I'm not interested. This is part of my deal with Cerberus. Hear me out before you say no. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. If the information's deadly, we have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack. But I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard.
is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Oh yeah, General Tullius, yeah. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? 
This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zikira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on... Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Sounds like a police state to me. That topic is beyond the scope of my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Esperant sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering, 
And like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. I offer a no money down lease on my quality used ships. Are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you were. What? No. All I heard Varanus say was pick up a module. Welcome to Saranus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah! Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth, you've got it. I'll take it. Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for a little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I didn't even think I... Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. I guess as a renegade, you don't get to say that line. Or maybe I'm speaking too early. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. This Cladmus is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by! 
I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damned shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. It's something to do with the Omnigel Modulator's heatsink, right? That's why he asked us to go to Sarin's. So, is it a heatsink? The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. I just... he's my baby. He's... Good day, citizen. Welcome. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. Scene is funnier with Tally? Yeah, man, I can imagine. We just talked to him on the Tifari, now available with dextro amino acid. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years! I'm not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you! You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. 
Saranus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. You know what Quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Sir, gonna have to ask you to calm down. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit shit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. You claim you didn't take his credit chit? Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close his event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Um, I lost my internet for like an hour and... What can I get you? That was it. What's up, Spartan? Little angry did Angie and the fish guy again for the challenge to kill them fast. Oh man, I think I got the same result the same time on Angie. I know the feeling. <laughs> Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I know the feeling, man. Has reported the disappearance of a sanitation worker. 
Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, <laughs> enjoy your shopping experience. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, the space hamster. Let's go. Now nah, I'm gonna buy all of that later. <laughs> How did you get seven seven seven? Uh, you can only get seven by selling assault rifle ammo. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. And you have to use that type of ammo to get all those achievements. What can I do for you? I do a little hunting myself, you know. That right. What sort of prey can a squishy human take down? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum. What? Where? The Terminus. I'm heading out again soon and I'm looking for sponsors. Huh. I respect anyone who hunts game like that. Sure. I'll give you a discount. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Bring me back a Geth's head, would you? I'd like to turn one into a desk lamp. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Is there actually a Geth desk lamp in real life? Hold on. Actually, wow, nobody made that. Wow. Glock, thank you so much for that, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That really means a lot to me, man. this so what do you think maybe a shotgun i like the assault rifle it's like a non-stop barrage of death if you can hit anything have you tried galaxy of fantasy yet i love that game it's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Here we go, man. The music started. Hell yeah. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. 
You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Thank you, Block. That really means a lot to me, man. Thank you. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. <laughs> wow. Well. Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days, it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. <laughs> cool. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. The worst thing about extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. <laughs> I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. <laughs> you know anyone who plays that extranet game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. I know it looks like I'm not working. But there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance. And to Krogan. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Human sports games? Sell well to Krogan. I imagine they would love rugby. Uh, I don't know yet, Rich. Trade in. You get two credits toward a new game. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You punched me when my questions hit too close to home. Do you have a minute? Sorry, don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of humans. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. I knew this was a mistake. You think you can keep treating the press like this and get away with it? Check bid. Did we get it? Nice. for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a he pleasant day. Here we go, man. Here we go.
about anything interesting going on around here? Serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I love this place, man. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. It'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Vitarian ale, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. <laughs> okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, print pump. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh yeah, well more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth.
This council turned its back on me. You were reported dead, Commander. Then we heard you were working for Cerberus. Frankly, we were unsure which news was worse. We shouldn't be fighting. If we're going to stop the Reapers, we have to work together. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. The elusive man warned me. He said you're all too stupid and scared to see the truth. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems, but Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Take your offer and cram it up your ass. I didn't need your help to stop Sovereign, and I don't need it now. We've tried to be reasonable. A tactic that has been misplaced. If your actions become a threat to the security of Council space, we will take action. Watch your step, Shepard. You've been warned. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. I appreciate the effort, but bureaucrats aren't going to stop the Reapers. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I didn't just meet with the Council. They offered to reinstate me as a Spectre, and I told them where to shove it. Are you trying to start an interstellar war? What the hell is wrong with you? I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. 
I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Something I can do for you, Shepard? I better go. My door is always open. I don't remember if it was in this one or in the next one, but there were some floaty things in the air. Some flying objects that developers forgot to clean up. Hmm. Maybe it was in the next one. you've received a new message at your private terminal. Cool, man. Message from our mom. So cool.
message from concert. Cool, cool. Cool, man. message from Daniel now he's happy so cool no Launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Away. 
probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Away. 
probe launched. I have detected an anomaly. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. away. Something on our sensors. Probe launched. Yeah, I believe this is one of the weapons that I... that I really liked. Or I some other. The ship is safe. We've run into the Geth far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. Or some other that fires like this one.
online. Welcome to the M44 Hammerhead Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This is your onboard VI. Caution. Guided missile system active. Mission objectives located. Probe. Probe launched. Thank you. 
probe launched. Launching probe. Detected. Probe launched. Probe away. Scans have found something. Is this a new feature? Mission objectives located. Nah, man, this is just a DLC.
somehow they feel much easier to kill now in the remaster or maybe that's just me
I don't know, man. Like, even with May code, they felt... Easier, but I don't know. And I remember this mission glitching in the original. Like, graphical glitches and flashes and all that stuff. It was kinda unpleasant. Yeah, like, colors definitely feel more vibrant. Away. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched.
payload launched. Launching probe. Launching probe.
step away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. launched. Detected. Launching probe. Scans have found something. Probe launched. Probe away.
adverse geothermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Please use manual controls to locate research base.
leading to the main Prothean ruins. Dr. Aloy and I agree that this must remain a secret at all costs. I will not allow another Eden Prime to occur. The Geth, the Reapers, all of them, they must be stopped.
sensors.
probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launched. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Holy moly, seven subs. Thank you so much for subbing, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Launching probe. Something on our sensors. Launching probe.
probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched.
indoctrinated by the Reapers. I found him sending our data to a Geth ship. I won't be responsible for another Geth attack. Another Eden Prime. I've silenced Aloy. Forever. This should come in handy. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic. And myself. used half our fuel.
Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vortia down there. You know anything about this? I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that, I can handle. What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Said has a unique dialogue. Okay, let's bring him then. I want to see that. I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Not right now, no. The offer stands. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. 
Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my help. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better what? tell me. If it... You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. Her. She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. Enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live, kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya.
Ryu's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. And thank you. Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I couldn't stand by and watch you coddle him like a pet. He was better than that. He was. No one has challenged me the way he did centuries ago. Perhaps it is better this way. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. Hmm, interesting. Just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Derek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. 
It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. 
Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the Freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea.
That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Leave us alone! this. Freelancer. Go report to Kafka. Not now, human. I don't want excuses! Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge! And somebody get me those damn blueprints! Now! Get this freelancer out of here! I don't have time for this shit! What's your problem? You! Get, get this scum out of my face! Tarek! What's eating your ass? Zaid! Wow! You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's Archangel! This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Saeed, I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible.
Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know what to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. That was so cool. Thanks, Rich. That was... That was such a cool detail. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. Why haven't you talked to him? Because I'm not stupid. This assault is damn dangerous. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us the signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? I'm trying not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Chat, something came to my mind just now. I wouldn't be surprised if 
modders actually get Pinnacle Station to work on a remaster. Because nothing can stop modders, man. That's going to be so cool if they manage that. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? I'm trying not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll get these guys a surprise of our own. Here they come! Oh, I definitely will, man. I definitely will. Um... Grant should be the warlord, right? Okay, okay. I'll take him, definitely. Incoming. This might be useful. Archangel? you doing here good to see you too I'm just surprised to see you you and me both still it's good to see a friendly face 
Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. You nail be good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything.
All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online! They're sending out the heavy mix. That problem should take care of itself. These must be Garrus's friends, Garrus's team. That's a cool detail. anything else unique to loot in this building I believe I got everything with you never saw me come can cuss his shot Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. We'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Saeed, stay with Gears. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Come on. 
Back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Run. 
Rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. We're compromised! Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. He still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of it. Loading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Yeah, they do, Aaron. They have all DLCs. craft everything is craftable
We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Love your Witcher 3 walkthrough. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? The Collectors are wiping out human colonies, Garrus. Nobody else cares enough to stop it. I can't argue with that. Hard to believe the Council is letting the attacks go unanswered, though. Damn politicians. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Yeah, man, I really want to do that. I really do. It's only a matter of time. It's gonna happen. The only question is when. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Would take forever to collect everything in all three games? I don't know, like... How much did it take me to finish... The previous one? Let me see. So it was... Exactly 40 hours for the first one.
The Krogan are dangerous enough already. With an unchecked birth rate, they could endanger the whole galaxy. Exactly. Salarian government agreed, authorized STG to take steps. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of Genophage. Released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. How did you distribute the modified Genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Salarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Like in the first Mass Effect, I only didn't do a really minor side quest. And you can only get to that side quest whether if you are a good guy or a bad guy. Now, there is a exploit glitch in the first game where you can be both and good, both bad and good guy, so that you can get both good and bad quests. But I didn't want to, to exploit that. I always like to do ethical runs. And. I don't know, like, I would consider that almost 100% of the game. If you don't glitch, then it's definitely 100. I believe I did everything else. And I'm definitely gonna do the same here. And in, in the third one. Unless, like, when I played the third one last time, I did manage to get some side quests to glitch out. And now I know that they can glitch out, so hopefully I will not miss any side quest. And I also want to test to see if they actually fixed that. If they fixed the side quests glitching out bugging out How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect, left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. You never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. You never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. <laughs> Here's the kid that we saved. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. <laughs> Are you into aliens? I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the Collectors pay for taking him. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Anything that could affect the ship or the mission is my business. I need to know you two won't be a problem. Now you sound like Cerberus. It's not an issue. It was a long time ago. That's the end of it. I think that's enough talking. I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too. Commander. Your boat, your car. Relax, and, Jake. But you? I like only child and no extended family. Never settled down. 
Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. They'll have something to see by the time we're done. No doubt. We'll be right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. This mission takes me back. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanna. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanna since. <laughs> Damn jellyfish. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy? Or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Well do, Commander. These two are awesome. restroom is on the port side of the ship. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. 
I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. What's this area of the ship? Gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Ah, uh, yes. Now he's gonna calibrate this forever. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. 
Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against the collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Um, I'm not sure, but you do get a bunch of money and resources when you import the save from the previous game. It sounds like you were just another game. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties, that was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you start. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules, I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. If I remember correctly, that's the thing in the third game, not in this one. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedona's asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. 
His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. by the quarantine reports. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorjet Task Force. Got something to report? I'll just be Keep going. Keep up the good work. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. 
patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. I suppose I still can. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. We friendly enough to talk about who you were before, Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. Is she talking about Rex? I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record keeping. All right, I'll drop it. Better luck next time. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to lose
shepherd's head is a bit weird but I'm sure it's fine part of Lazarus project
probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away.
anomaly detected. Probe launched. Launching probe. sensors. Sensors just went offline, and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over the ship. Is not a 
You got it.
Reloading power. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched.
the way. Launched. 
probe launched. Probe launched. Hey man. Launching probe. Yep, I'm still alive. Probe launched. What's up with you? Thank you, man. And thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe. Gonna make some food and watch my stream. Glad I found you very underrated. Thank you, man. Okay, chat, I have almost streamed for 12 hours and YouTube doesn't like when it goes above 12 hours. So everybody, thank you so much for watching, being here. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day or night and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you all.